Do you need a drink? Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? Huh? I really do hate to do it to him, but he's gonna feel better and his leg will be healed. I was afraid he was gonna lose his foot. He'll get over it. He'll love me eventually. morning everyone welcome back to Johnson party of six do you have a cat we have a cat we have two cats actually this is Leo Leo is mad he is so mad at me right now let me tell you a little bit about Leo he likes to get out our cats are strictly house cats okay he should not get out but he hears the door open and he bolts for the front door he just wants to get out well, he's gotten in a few cat fights. <laughs> he's on the dash. Okay, well, he's gotten into a few cat fights, okay? And he really hurt his front left paw about three weeks ago. And Jeff and I, we tried to doctor it up. We put hydrogen peroxide, we tried wrapping it, all of these things. Now he's acting fine. Like he wouldn't put pressure on it before. Anyway. It was getting better and then it wasn't. It was getting better and then it wasn't. And I don't want poor Leo to lose his front paw. <laughs> so we are taking him to the vet this morning. I don't know if I can show you his paw if YouTube will take my video down, but right there. Yeah, it's really not good. So we're taking Leo to the vet. Can you see my lovely mess behind me? Oh, garages, am I right? Okay. Hopefully, he's gonna be fine, not lose his leg, but we're taking the kitty to the vet. Leo, are you just gonna sit on the dash? See, look at his poor little leg, if I get close to it. Leo, huh? He doesn't even like to be pet. He's like, don't touch it, don't touch it, lady. How do you think he's gonna handle driving? Huh? You don't like that? We're moving. We're moving, Leo. I'm gonna have to move you down. It's not gonna be safe having you sit up there. The vet is really like a mile from our house. What? Okay, well, it has been, I don't know, four or five hours and I got a call from the vet and they were saying that they think that Leo, our cat, has a heart murmur. So they were really worried to give him any sort of sedative. <sighs> Gotta lock the car. Anyway, they ended up doing a mild sedative because they said they couldn't even get into the wound to wash it or clean it or anything, but he had a pus pocket that was like two inches up the leg, which I was really worried about, but I think he's going to be okay. He is going to have to come home with the cone of shame. And let's see what else. There's someone walking behind me. I always feel weird videoing, but oh well. Um, he is going to have to be on an antibiotic and a pain medication, but I'm really glad we took him in and that he is getting some TLC for his little wound. So let's go get Leo. Oh, little collar. Yes. Okay. Little oh. bandage on there for him. Leo, how you Hi. doing? Oh. Don't think he loves this. He's got his little e-collar. Let's look at his, his leg. Leo is in the back of the car. <laughs> he doesn't want to get out. I'll show you just how cute he is. A little cutie patitty. Leo. Do you, oh, he hates the collar. He hates the thing on his hand. Oh, Leo. You ready to get out? <coughs> Never heard him meow so much in his life. It's time to get out, kitty cat. <laughs> he 
He is not happy. Huh? You want to go in? Well, he wants to get out. He's like, set me free. Uh oh. He doesn't know what to do with that darned collar. Oh, he hates it. Poor guy. I really do hate to do it to him, but he's going to feel better and his leg will be healed. I was afraid he was going to lose his foot. He'll get over it. He'll love me eventually. Well, I just found Leo. Oh, poor little kitty. Well, I was just sitting at a baby shower like 10 minutes ago and Jeff messaged me and he said, I think Leo is hallucinating. I'm like, well, that that's not good. <laughs> so... They said that he was acting really weird in the kitchen. And when I came home, we couldn't find him. And they said, well, maybe he's not hallucinating. I think he's just loopy from the medication because they did sedate him. He really just, I'm watching him right now. He just doesn't like the cone and the bandage on his leg, but he shouldn't be going and getting in cat bites. <laughs> I'm curious to see how he does over the next few days. And hopefully we can take the stuff off soon. Do you need a drink? Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? Huh? I think he is thirsty. You want to get a drink? Linus does. <laughs> Oh good, <laughs> at least he's eating and drinking. It's gonna take him a little while to figure it out with the cone, but I guess that's just what happens, right? Charlotte, move that green towel behind him. Well, Leo's doing really good. He has this bandage on. He's putting weight and he's growling at me, but he's starting <laughs> no, to. He's not a people person. He's starting to walk on that uh, sore arm and he's doing pretty good. He's been licking his cone. Anyway, I just sit here and then scratch his neck so he can feel good and feel comfortable, but we're hoping he can get back to the Leo that we love. <laughs> Well, we love him now, but you know. Well, it's been a couple of weeks and we think Leo is back to his tip top cheerio self. Now I gotta go find him. I wanna show you how he looks the before and after. He is doing much better. What do you think, mom? Way better, it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks and he's running. He was wrestling with Linus the other day. Before he wouldn't even- Now he can run away from Murphy. <laughs> oh, and. Do you remember, Mom? He was he hit for like three days. I know. We, we couldn't find him. We didn't know. We thought <laughs> we were expecting to find a dead cat. We could not find him for three days. And then Dad was. Dad didn't believe in him. But he was like hidden inside of Charlotte's bed. He was inside of Charlotte's bed. Yeah, Charlotte came went running down in the frame. and said, "Yeah, he was in the frame of the bed." And we pulled him out, and Mom gave him a drink. But he was gone for two or three days. At least it was three to four. Yeah. <laughs> It was, we were like, where is the cat? We thought we had killed our cat, but he... Well, just... that was before we took him to the vet. Anyway. Anyway, well, let me show you what he looks like. Leo! Linus! Oh, there's Linus. Where's, where, you know what? He's usually in a spot. Do you know where his spot is? Looking outside. See if he's there. Oh, he's right there! Oh, there he is! Yeah, pick, him, he... pick him up, Michaela. Let's see how he looks. He let's, loves uh... looking outside. Pick him up and let's look at his leg. So you can see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See? That little scar right there? He doesn't even want me to touch it still, but he's doing much better. Hey, Leo. And then it was on the inside of his arm, too. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> See right there on the inside of his arm? And but look at that. on his... <laughs> he growls. Um, and he's lost a lot of weight. He is much skinnier, and he does not like whatever he, McKay's doing. If you look right there, he has a little heart on his leg. Oh, yeah. I never noticed that. 
Well, there he is. Right back to his old self. See, even Murphy improves. See, look, even Murphy approves. Maybe. Murphy's like, what's going on? Murphy just loves the cats, and the cats do not like Murphy at all. Murphy just loves, loves, loves attacking him. Here, come here. Leo, Linus. Well, that's our video. We are so glad that Leo is doing better. Thanks for watching, and... Subscribe to our channel, please. That's right. Subscribe to our channel, or we're going to send Leo and Linus to come after you. And make you subscribe. That's right. Cat style. Wow.